All right, guys, for this uh, fuel tank video, I figured you don't need to see my ugly face for it. But anyway, this is a tank that a customer had prepared for this L39. Uh, and you can see on the L39 tank, the inlet is at the top. So when you actually put the tank in there, the hardware in there, you see where the, the clunk ends up at? It's about uh, three quarters of the way down on the tank. So that means if, if you're flying, you know, I put my timer about seven minutes. If you're up there five minutes or even seven minutes and you got wasted most of your throttle and you go vertical, what's going to happen right there? Well, hopefully you have enough gas. If not, that's where your engine's going to shut down about two, three minutes early. So one of the things that uh, people do is they put in there a, uh, a uh, extension on it. Number one, it serves two purposes. Let me uh, step away here. Since uh, Victor had a question on a, um, on a uh, tank for the hummingbird, it's basically the same principles, except that this time the, the, the clunk or the inlet here is in the middle as opposed to being on the top of this tank over here. You can see where one's in the middle, the other one has it in the top. But basically the same principle. You want a hard line in there. So it, when you're when you're coming down from a loop or whatever, the the line doesn't have a chance to kink around and go backwards. Uh, one of the ways to do that is to insert a piece of brass in the middle, and this makes just makes the the hardware you already have in there. You can just reuse the same one uh, by making the extension in there. Then the the hardware doesn't have a chance to flip around because the, the, the hard line inside it's inside. So yeah, you would just go back in there and do your uh, um, safety wire. Or I mean, this one has zip ties. I don't, I, I wouldn't use zip ties, especially inside the tank. Um, and then uh, go ahead and, you know, Build the rest of the tank, however, you know, with, to your specifications, to your likings, whether you want to put a barb in here and some in here or not, then that's up to you. But now, with this hardware on it, you would see that the line would not be able to bend backwards, but now it goes all the way to the back of the tank. Well, it's hard to show you and me look at it at the same time, but yeah, now it goes to the back of the tank right there. With the little extension on that we put on there it goes further back and then you can extend it a little bit more to give you you know the the range you need you know what i mean and uh basically that's it that's how you make the extension or you put a brass tube on there to uh better protect the the line from uh kinking back or flipping backwards while you're flying and doing aerobatics or anything else on there um any questions go ahead and ask me online either uh on our Facebook group or um, sometimes I look at the YouTube comments. Thanks. Have a good one.